I'm Fran Fontash, Texas A&M AgriLife Extension Viticulturist. I'm here at the Texas A&M Leach Teaching Garden in our vineyard. We're standing today in front of Victoria Red, one of our premier table grapes, and you can see why. Look at this cluster. This is one cluster. It's uh, beginning to change color. That's what we call veraison here in Texas. I think they pronounce it veraison in French, but we're in Texas. And this is when it begins to ripen and soften a bit. So what, what we have today here is a good show of what happened in 2021 in February. So some of our Victoria Red didn't do so well in the freeze. In fact, it was really impacted throughout the state. Here's a no, more Victoria Red. Some did quite well, others not at all. We have here a Munson variety, which is called Miss Blanc very little known about, I mean, as far as growing, um, little grown grape, but it does, as you can see, quite well. It did freeze back, but it came back too. It came back very well with lots of fruit. But what I want to spend some more time on is Lamonto. It's grown in uh, popularity in the last several years, and this is Lamonto. And during the freeze, it didn't seem to show much uh, effect from the freeze. It, it came back quite well. Um, but what we see is um, uh, some uneven ripening. So we have green here. Well, these were purple. Um, the birds, probably some raccoons, got them first. And uh, then we have over here more uneven ripening and it's quite obvious down here. So what's going to happen as we get closer to harvest is all these will be purple and it will be hard to distinguish what's ripe and what's not. So on Friday, please join us as we talk about tackling some of those issues that we might come across this year as we harvest our 2021 grapes. Thank you. See you Friday.